Hey, hello, what's up, guys? This is Yasa with another video, and in this video, we're going to talk about dry distillation of calcium salt. Of carboxylic acid. Okay, so our today's topic is dry distillation of calcium salt of carboxylic acid. Now, what do you mean by first of all dry distillation? It's very simple. Dry distillation means heating at a high temperature. Heating. at a high temperature in absence of moisture okay now so before starting about the dry distillation of calcium salt of carboxylic acid i would like to tell you the formation of calcium salt so basically we'll study now the formation of calcium salt of carboxylic so we'll study how calcium salt of carboxylic acid is formed. So it's very simple. We have to take first an uh, carboxylic acid. Suppose this is R C double one O O H, and we need to react it with calcium hydroxide. Since calcium hydroxide is a diabasic diacidic base, means a base which gives Two OH minus, so obviously it requires two mole of carboxylic acid, and a neutral reaction reaction takes place, and we'll be having finally RC double bond O two moles with C. So this is called as calcium salt of carboxylic. Acid and obviously the other product is water molecule. Okay, so this is the formation of calcium salt of carboxylic acid. Now what I'll be doing will be doing the dry distillation of calcium salt of carboxylic acid. So let me show you the mechanism. A simple mechanism is not necessary in this one. You simple just look for the, uh, the trick that is R C double bond O. So it is O R C double bond O O and this is C A. So we just need to simply heat it and we'll be having removal of this particular compound. And that is nothing but C A C O three. Okay. So we'll be having R C double bond O R plus C A C O three. This is nothing but the ketone. Now it depends which particular substrate we are taking. We are taking or which particular compound we are heating. Okay. Let's move to the uh, another example. So for this, first we'll see uh, self dry distillation. Okay. First we'll see self dry distillation uh, no the word self over here means there will be a single calcium salt of carboxylic acid will be there okay so let's take an example of uh, 
calcium formate okay so i'll take example of calcium formate the formula is this h c double bond o h c double bond o o and here it is c a and on heating it gives H C double bond O H and along with that we'll be having calcium carbonate and this is nothing but formaldehyde. This particular compound is called as formaldehyde. Let's move towards the further more example so that things will be much clearer for you. Now I'll take calcium salt of acetic acid so this is h 3 c c double bond o o and this is calcium we just need to heat it up and we'll be having removal of calcium carbonate So this is the calcium carbonate. So finally we'll be having H3C C double bond O CA3 plus CaCO3. So this is our compound which is called as acetone or having a name di methyl ketone. Okay, we can also take example of this one pH C double bond O O C A. Okay, so this particular salt is called as calcium benzoate because it is in salt of benzoic acid. Okay, and this one is called as calcium. Okay, so this is on heating. So simply again the same mechanism will be followed. That is the trick which I told you removal of calcium carbonate. So it will, it will give us CH C double bond O CH plus CaCO3. Okay, so this particular compound is called as benzo phenol okay so all these examples which we have done till now is a self dry distillation that is the same reactants were taken now we move to the another type that is called as cross dry distillation okay so let's talk about cross dry distillation now question comes in our mind what do you mean by cross dry distillation it's very simple both the compounds or you can say the substrate which we are taking will be different uh, so i'll be taking one calcium formate so let's take an example hc double bond o c a h c double bond o o c a so this is nothing but calcium formate and the another compound which I'll be taking is nothing but calcium acetate. So this is CA3. Okay, we just need to heat it up and the same method will follow that is simple uh, removal of the calcium carbonate which is from both the substrate so this is one calcium carbonate this is the another one so we'll be having total two modes of calcium carbonate and our product will be h c double bond o h plus h3 c c double bond o ch3 c 
3C, C double bond O, H. So there are total th three products. Okay, so there are total three products, and along with that, we'll be having two moles of calcium carbonate. Okay, the name of the first product is called as formaldehyde. So the first one is formaldehyde, and the second one is called as acetone or you can also call it as a dimethyl ketone and this one is called as acetaldehyde or it is also having a name called as ethanol okay so this is about the dry distillation or cross dry distillation you can have any other example as well so not an issue okay so in this so if anyone is asking you which one will be the major product in majority of cases uh, it is the cross product okay that is the aldehyde one in this case okay so in generally it has been observed that the major product is the cross dry distillation product okay the cross one that is if you'll see these two products are the self that is this one is found by dry distillation of uh, calcium salt of formic acid and this one is found by self dry distillation of calcium salt of acetic acid and this one is the cross products so there are chances that this one will get major okay so i hope you understood the video well uh, please do share and subscribe thanks a lot for watching